Okay, my YouTube loves. Okay, so this is going to be a makeup haul, but it's got some randoms in there. Like, I went to Ulta recently, so a lot of the stuff I got at Ulta, but then I've also been getting some stuff here and there at the drugstore, um, at Sephora, and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on in here. Um, I'm not going to do a first impressions because technically some of the stuff I've had a little longer, but I've been, like, waiting to do a haul, and I just haven't done it but this is the HD studio primer oh, can't get the pot. and this is what it looks like little primer studio photogenic um, it makes your face a little tacky that's all I can say I've only used it a couple of times yeah. so I've been wanting to get the Hulu bronzer for the longest time and I was actually finally going to get it. And then I saw this little pack. It's called the Professional Bronzed. And so it comes with the Hula Bronzer, this Luminizer, and then the actual um, Professional, which I haven't tried. So that's cool. So here's the bronzer itself. It comes with this little blue fella right here. And... It's just like that. I'm sure you've all seen it. It's been all over the place. And this was actually for a just a few more bucks. And then it comes with the little tiny WhatsApp. And it's just like a, a little glitter stick. Well, not glitter, right? But highlight stick. So these three came in there. And I want to say these were a pretty good deal. So yeah also picked up two of these L'Oreal what are they called matte pro lip gloss and I got these two colors with summer right around the corner um this one's in the color oh rebel rose which is a bright hot pink and this one is blushing ambition this is actually a little light for me it's coming off darker in the camera but this is a little light for me so i don't even know if i'll be wearing this one this one is like bomb.com so i got those two um i was at sephora and i got the lolita also one that i've been trying this is actually what's on my lips mixed with something else at ulta i got this it is a lorac blush and this is in the color cinematic cinematic and these are so cool guys let me show you i've got a little bit on my cheeks this packaging is like it's legit let me show you so it looks like this first of all like super freaking cool and like dope and then it's got a magnetic lid so that's the color and this is the magnetic lid. it's just super slick and like i don't know super dope i got a lorac lip it's called a pro matte lip color and so this is the color right here it's actually called rose brown and there's like a better look these are i've tried this once you can't you can't even feel it on your lips i would highly recommend going and checking these out they're not drying at all and they are matte but they're not drying at all I went and I got the Tarte, what is this, what is this, Lights, Flashes, Camera, and this actually came with the mascara and the eyeliner for 23 bucks, which, and it is a full size, or no, it's a travel size eyeliner, my bad. I've tried the mascara once, it's pretty dope, I, I like it. This is what the wand looks like if you haven't seen it. It's supposed to be different. I think it makes my eyelashes very spidery. This is the travel size liner, which is, as you can see, it's not like, obviously, it's like a cute little, thin little fella. But I wanted to try their eyeliner, and it's the same close up lash liner. It's super tiny. Off of um, Kathleen Lights, oh, I love her. Um, I got the NYX Trezoli. I did put this on my waterline today. Even though it looks like it could be a sharpener, it actually twists up. It's kind of And it is pretty dark. 
I don't know about the wearability yet, but we shall find out. So I also got their um, concealer, and I got this one in CW06, and it's just the HD concealer. A lot of people have said really great things about it. I've used it a couple times. I do like it. It is very creamy, easy to blend. Um, it's quite lovely. And then I also went and got the um, NYX HD, this white powder. I also got one of their liquid suede. Um, the color payoff is absolutely amazing. And they're only like $6, super dope. Um, they just don't dry matte, which technically it doesn't say it does, so <laughs> who cares? But they are very long wearing. Watch the NYX Collectible Noir, um, this eyeliner, which has an extremely thin tip right here. You guys can see it's super thin. If you like the thin liner, this is for you. It can be easy and hard to work with, so it all depends on your liner skizzles. So the last thing from Ulta was I got their, it's called, it's the It, it Cosmetics, um, I don't know, brush. It's supposed to be an angled brush, as you can see. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't say, but I wanted this for, I got this for my gel liner. And I think this was like $16, so 16 bucks for brush, that's usually something I'm not willing to pay for so this shit better work just saying another brush this is the elf blush brush and it kind of has like a little bit of a tapered end here um, it's a little flat but it is I don't use it for blush at all whatsoever I use it for that highlight right there it has a fabulous like fit for the highlight like just right there you know I would just put the highlight on like this top half portion like I don't put it but like that right there and then I just put it on in and we're good to go so I would definitely recommend I think this was three dollars so go get yours at your local Walmart I don't know wherever you find out I off of Catherine lights like I said I love that girl um, she recommended the wet and wild brushes and I actually got three um, I got this flat one, which is, I don't know, it's like a flat top. I've, I have been using this literally non-stop since I purchased it, purchased it for my foundation. It is doing a fabulous job. And then I got two of their, like, flat little ones for, like, your eyeshadow. Or, no, 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 they're called the concealer brushes. I don't care for them. I don't care for them for concealer. I don't care for them for eyeshadow. I don't care for them. I was in search for a good eyeliner. Um, I got the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner, and this shit is bomb. Like, I'm not playing you. This eyeliner, you could... It's like a felt tip. Oh, oh, oh. Um, but it's kind of thin. It's not... Oh, come on, focus, focus, focus. It's not as thin as the NYX one, even though it may look like it is right here. Um, it actually is not. But it is, it's a really good eyeliner. Super easy to build up your eyeliner or to make it thin. Um, and it has durability. So I love this. It was a good one. Um, also from the drugstore, I ended up getting the Milani. Everyone's been talking about this foundation. Um, last but not least, the two things that I bought were two Dose of Color Lippies. One is in the color Truffle, which is a brown, and one is in Berry Me Too. That's, so that's it. Enjoyed this video. Let me know which ones are your favorites. Um, if you've got any products that you are like, damn, that's a good find. So I hope you guys enjoy. Take care, and until next time.